What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer, and it's almost in the new year, which means the winter transfer window is going to be opening up. That means a lot of deals are happening, a lot of transfer news, a lot of rumors. So yeah, I wanted to give an update on just about every U.S. men's national team player and what their future looks like at the moment. So we got some confirmed moves that are happening, some transfer news, which I feel like are more likely to happen than just rumors, which I'll still talk about, and then I just have some guesses, things like a few months ago I was talking about Brendan Aarons is probably going to get linked to RB Leipzig, and he is, so... Yeah, so let's just talk about them. So first, the confirmed deals are only one, actually. Caden Clark is going to join RB Leipzig from New York Red Bull. Pretty expected. I mean, doing well in that Red Bull pipeline, so I expect Brandon Aronson to move there. But yeah, good move for Caden Clark, though. Jesse Mark isn't going to be there, which might dampen the success a little bit. And after he gets there, it's kind of unclear on what will happen. He get loaned somewhere. It's going to be tough to break into a good Bundesliga side. Uh, I think that he is going to report to the USA U20 camp. So, not sure about what happens right now, but Caden Clark is going to be moving to RB Leipzig. Next, we got some transfer news, which is, you know, more reliable, persistent stuff, but hasn't happened yet. And the first thing, almost guaranteed to happen, is Ricardo Pepe. It looks like he's going to be moving to Wolfsburg. This is from Fabrizio Romano. He's almost guaranteed to be leaving FC Dallas. Bundesliga is the most likely destination. Wolfsburg is almost guaranteed to be the team. I've already talked about his fit in a video before, but yeah, good move. And hopefully it is Wolfsburg. Well, I don't know. Not the greatest situation there, but hopefully that deal gets done quickly is what I mean to say. Next, we got Weston McKinney, and he's... I'm not too sure about these rumors. He's been linked away from a move to Juventus for a while, and ESPN and NBC are reporting that this interest from Tottenham is real. Like, there is interest. Other clubs do want him. However, he's an important player for Juventus at the moment. Fabrizio Romano reports that they're unlikely to sell. So don't expect Weston McKinney to move on, but the interest from other clubs is real. Next, we got Sergino Dest, and ESPN reports that Barcelona are willing to part with Sergino Dest, uh, as a, amongst other players, to fund moves for different players. Since Dest has been, since then, Dest has been linked with Arsenal and Bayern Munich. They've both been linked with Dest for a while. Uh, it's definitely possible for him to move, but I'm not too sure if Barcelona will give up on him that quickly. Javi just got there, so you might want to see him for a little bit longer. Next, we got Daryl DK, and Mundo Deportivo reports that West Brom have made an offer for him, and Leeds are about to as well. So yeah, definitely interest in Daryl DK. I've said that just about like the 10th best club in England to the 30th best club in England. Basically, all of them have been linked with Daryl DK. Uh, Crystal Palace remains linked by NBC. But I feel like West Brom and Leeds are the most likely uh, place where he ends up. Uh, West Brom do have his former manager from when he was at Barnsley. He moved to West Brom, and they're likely to get promoted. So I feel like that would definitely be a good move for him. But Leeds is a very good club as well. And yeah, just a lot of interest in Daryl DK. I expect him to move on. Next, we have Brian Reynolds. And there's actually some interest in a trade from the Cleveland Guardians. Sorry, wrong Brian Reynolds. Oh, he's expected to leave Roma, at least on loan, after not breaking into the first team. Uh, it's just about reported by everybody that he looks like he's moving on. Two clubs in particular, Roma Press and Football League, have reported links with uh, Bologna and Hull City, respectively. I'm not too sure about those clubs exactly, but I feel like a weaker Italian side or a championship team is definitely a possibility for Brian Reynolds. Next, we have George Bello. Uh, Carlos Bocanegra, uh, Atlantic, Atlanta United's, I don't know, what do they call it, sporting director, general manager, whatever, has reported that there is European interest in Bello. Uh, I believe I believe him because he said that there wasn't any in Miles Robinson. We'll get to him later, but he seems to be being a bit transparent about this. Uh, Dirty South Soccer, which is uh, Atlanta United uh, fan page, I guess, uh, or maybe just a media page, has reported that Watford has made a transfer inquiry, and there's definitely interest in George Bellow, and he looks likely to move on. Next, Celtic Star reports that Celtic want to sign up Cameron Carter-Vickers permanently. He's there on loan. He's been impressing. That makes sense. And lastly for news, uh, John Brooks, uh, the Build article that mentioned him falling out with Wolfsburg and the U.S. Men's National Team reports that uh, Wolfsburg do not wish to renew his contract, which is in the last year. So, again, this is probably more of a summer thing. But, uh, yeah, John Brooks is probably not going to stay in Wolfsburg, and maybe that will lead to them trying to move him on this window so they get some kind of uh, compensation for him. Now we're going to transfer rumors, which is stuff that I don't really expect to happen, but uh, good to talk about because there is definitely some interest. Tyler Adams. He's been linked with a move to Manchester United by Metro in the UK. Uh, I believe this is because uh, his former coach Chris Armas is part of uh, their new manager Raph st uh, staff and Jesse March just got fired. Uh, I believe this is mostly speculation like I've talked about before like 
like there are moves that just make sense and I mean United aren't the strongest at defensive midfield and with his former coach there and not getting the most time at RB Leipzig this move makes sense and I can understand why it's in the news but I don't think there's any actual club interest there. Next, we have Christian Pulisic. Rumors of him leaving uh, NBC reports Barcelona interest, but he's been starting for Chelsea a lot recently, and I don't see them moving on, and especially not Barcelona. With I mean, their situation isn't great at the moment, so I don't expect him to go there. And just when you're a high-level player, you get linked with just about you get linked to a move away just about every window. Like it's just something that happens. Next, we have Miles Robinson, and as I mentioned before, Atlanta reports that they have not had any offers. Carlos Buchnagher said that uh, Robinson will actually be back. However, Roger Gonzalez reports that uh, the Bundesliga and Premier League clubs are interested in Robinson, so, you know, tough to say if he moves on, tough to say if he stays up in the air. Next, Brandon Aronson. Uh, RB Salzburg has interest from Leeds, AC Milan, and RB Leipzig, according to the MLS, which is it's weird to me that they publish rumors and stuff like that on their own website. I think he's expected to stay in Austria this window. They're still in the Champions League, so I definitely want to see him stay. And I do think that he will move on, definitely. I mean, like he went to RB uh, Salzburg with the point of moving on to a different club in Europe. I mean, they're Red Bull Leipzig's second team. God, I'm trying not to get these guys confused, but... Uh, yeah, I definitely expect him to move on. And his brother Paxton is being linked with the move to Red Bull as well. Just general Red Bull. <laughs> could be Austria, could be Germany, not sure. But I expect him to stay in Austria for the remainder of this season. But then once the summer starts, he's probably going to be moving on. Uh, Tim Weah, AS USA, reports that he's been linked with Sevilla. I'm not too sure about this. It only seems like one article. Could be interest, but I'm not sure if it happens. Not sure if it would even be a good thing to move on. Lille's been putting together some good strikers lately. Could be a good club for him to develop. Uh, Justin Che remains perpetually linked with Bayern Munich after being loaned there last summer, but there are no recent updates with him. And Reggie Cannon was expected to leave Boa Vista in the summer, but uh, there's no news about him recently, so I'm not too sure about that. Now on to me just guessing about some things, like I mentioned Aronson de Leipzig. Uh, Zach Steffen and Ethan Horvath are both backups at the moment. They may want loans for playing time, especially leading up to the World Cup. I feel like Stefan's satisfied with his position, but Ethan Horvath might want to get out of Nottingham Forest, where he is the backup. Uh, Nicola Giacchini has been playing a lot for Montpellier, and he still is only there on loan, but I do expect him to be uh, bought permanently. And when it, in regards to Matthew Hoppe, I just want to say that he seems to have been injured, so I think Mallorca will have faith in him, and he should be playing again by the end of the season. They're also linked with some MLS players like James Sands, Austin Trusty, Walker Zerman, Georgie Mihaljevic, and Cole Bassett. They're all linked with moves, and I do expect to see a couple of them happen. But yeah, that's everything we have. Caden Flores moving over, definitely expecting West McKinney, Daryl D. Or, sorry, Ricardo Pepe, Daryl DK, uh, George Bell. They'll probably all be moving on soon. And yeah, definitely some good moves, some good players we have, and hoping that they can definitely find success in Europe. So I'll talk about this transfer rumors. See you.